It has been a crazy week in the world yes, of was. rock and roll. Yes, it was. Um, big headline news from the Kings of Leon. Yes, some internal problems kept frontman Caleb Falwell from performing on July 29th in Dallas. The singer told the audience, I'm going to go backstage and I'm going to vomit. I'm going to drink a beer. I'm going to come back out and I'm going to play three more songs. And did he? And no, he did not come back out. In fact, oh, the entire why? tour has been canceled. You know why? Because he married a model. I think she. Is, was, is that it? The yeah, model was why? like, you can't if go I'm back out. I'm married to a model. I'm not coming. Why back Why would out you too. come back out? Yeah. Well, unfortunately, uh, the King's tour has been canceled. Um, the official press release said that it's because of exhaustion and voice problems. So let's That's hope. That's true. He's actually, I talked to his manager. Drinking and, some whiskey. Uh, unfortunately, as opposed to the throat spray, straight up whiskey. Shots. Right. It's not going to get it done. Not always good. So, yeah, you might want to talk to a medical professional. So, hopefully, uh, they'll get back on the road soon because there's a lot of bummed out fans right now. Yeah, no, I like that band. They're an amazing live band. Um, and you are our official uh, Watch the Throne correspondent. Yeah, I'm down. You are. Jay-Z. You're in the inside. Yeah, Jay Z and Kanye, they, they're in the back. You guys come? Oh, no, 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 they're down here. I'm sorry. They're, <laughs> oh, there no, they are. Hip hop, they run late. Oh, there they are. Though. Anyway, yeah, so I just got back from New York uh, where we had our listening party for Watch the Throne at the. Um, Planetarium, which is an unbelievable building in the Museum of Natural History, and they played the whole record. Wow. Um, uh, there's this great song called Lift Off with Beyonce, which is fantastic. Uh, Frank Ocean, uh, who's a nice uh, up and coming young singer slash R&B crooner, but not so much. More part of the I like that word, Wolf crooner. Gang. He's not really a crooner. Don't take, I take that word. back. But he's part of the uh, Odd Future Wolf Gang peoples that we'll hear about later. And um, amazing record. So uh, the record will be out s- uh, Sunday night on iTunes, exclusive only, all across the globe. Which is making people very unhappy. The retailers are the retailers are bit. They wrote a letter. The independent but record now, stores were like, "Come on!" And now we're they're not like, the "And now they're like, all right, we'll wait. When's it coming?" So, wow. Brittany, you got a question for me? I do have a question for you. What is it? Two more twenty wants to know: Have you heard anything about the rumors that Jay Z is fed up with Kanye? <gasps> no, they were both together the other night, and um, you know Kanye is a mad genius, and uh, they're both incredibly amazing artists. And the combination of those two are going to have a great week with this record. And as a matter of fact, they're going to go on tour together. But it got postponed. Yeah, but you know. But they are going to tour together. Right. It so got, as opposed to it got uh, September 22nd, October 29th will be the first show. Right. And they're playing on my daughter's birthday, 12:12 uh, in Los Angeles, California. So we should go to that. Well, Hopefully it's hello. not a Thursday. It better not be. Chad Otherwise, room. we're taking Chad everyone room. with us. Tell us if it's a Thursday because we might we're, have a problem. We're taking with the show. everyone with us to the Kanye Jay Z show. Or maybe we could do the show from the Staples Center Ooh, with Kanye. And we we'll have could. Kanye and Jay Z on. Oh, there you now go. Yeah. Talking. Brian, make that happen. Stay buddy. with us. Uh, we were not on the air last week, but I did want to um, just mention Amy Winehouse. Yeah, that was sad. Real quickly, uh, really tragic. Uh, her death is just utterly tragic. Uh, if you go to the comet.com, we, we posted a story that Russell Brand had written about his experience um, knowing Amy and her struggle with addiction and his own sobriety. It's really, really moving. You know, she was an amazing talent. We, we miss her. You know, this you know, disease of addiction got her. Uh, we do know for certain um, that there are unreleased tracks. Yes, sir. And they've actually been in the vault for a while. And from what my people tell me, it's amazing music. So the chances question are, is, can she out Tupac? Tupac though, can she keep coming out I like don't think five years later can after out her Tupac? Tupac. Yeah, he was amazing. But yeah, we'll hopefully. And obviously, she uh, had the number one record in the charts in the UK, but not here. Right. Because Adele and will go away, and right. um, a couple other big releases this week. So, but yeah, rest in peace, Amy Winehouse. She was an amazing. Talent. Yeah. So we just wanted to make sure that we got to give Amy a shout out. So that is it for... And, what, and how old was she when she died? Twi- oh, the 27th thing. The 27th uh, thing is that. weird. Did, did the chat room people know about the 27th thing? Jim Morrison. Jim Morrison, Janis Joplin. Robert Johnson. Jimi Hendrix. Jimi Hendrix. 27 years old. All 27 years old. It's the spooky number. And there was a movie called 27. If anybody's seen that movie, I'd like to know about it. <laughs> uh, what else? Well, that is it for the news. 